Hello children. Today let's see the 12th chapter of our class 5 EVS textbook that is what if it finishes. In this chapter we are going to discuss about how, what will happen when petrol and diesel will, will get finished on this earth and what to do about the pollution caused by them. So let's start our chapter. In this chapter, a boy named Abraham along with his schoolmate, schoolmates, they are going to a school trip. They are going on a school trip from Ahmedabad to Adalaj Stepwell or Bauli in Gandhinagar in Gujarat, which is about 18 kilometers from Ahmedabad. Do you remember what is Stepwell and Bauli? We have already discussed it in our previous chapter. A Stepwell or Bauli is a well where we have to walk down the stairs to reach the water. I think you can see in the picture also here they have steps and this is the well. Adalaj Stepwell is in Gandhinagar in Gujarat and the children were going on a school trip from Ahmedabad to Adalaj to see the Adalaj step well which is about 18 kilometers from Ahmedabad. While going on while going in their way they got stuck in the traffic. On their way to see the Adalaj step well they got stuck in the traffic and they saw that the cars stuck in the traffic were releasing smoke, black dark smokes from the vehicles and the honking sound was very noisy for them. Children, what problems can we have from the noise or honking of the vehicles? Noise of vehicles can lead to severe problems like headache, stress, poor concentration, fatigue, lack of sleep etc. What problems can we have from the smoke coming out of the vehicles? The smoke coming out of vehicles causes air pollution. This polluted air or dirty air can cause many health issues like cough, nausea, headache and lung diseases. So, if we get stuck in the traffic, all the honking noise and the smoke coming out of vehicles or coming out of industries, they are very bad for our health. As they were moving forward, they went to a petrol pump to fill up the tank of their bus. In the petrol pump, they saw a poster. This is the poster which they saw. Here, what are the points written you see? Petrol and diesel will not last forever. Save it for your children. Petrol and diesel are oils. They are used to run our vehicles and various other machines like generator. If petrol and diesel will get finished up, what will happen? All, our, all of our cars and the machines which run in petrol and diesel will stop functioning. And here it is mentioned petrol and diesel will not last forever. That means if we will keep on using them, ultimately they will get finished up from this earth. Make every drop go a long way. That means don't waste any even a drop of petrol or diesel, we should use it judiciously or carefully. Switch off the engine when you stop the car. Whenever you are stuck in the traffic or you have uh, resting somewhere for some work, you should not keep your engine running. You should stop your engine so that you do not waste petrol or diesel. Here, this is dated 13 July 2017 and that date 
petrol was sixty four point nine one per liter of cost, and the cost of diesel was fifty four point seven zero per liter. You see how costly this petrol and diesel are. By looking at this, let's see what are this petrol and diesel actually. Petrol and diesel are actually obtained from petroleum. What is petroleum? Petrol and diesel are limited and obtained from petroleum. They are used as fuel. Petroleum oil is found deep down under the ground. It is formed naturally but very slowly. It takes lakhs of years for it to be formed under the uh, formed under the earth. You see, petrol and diesel are petroleum products. They are obtained from petroleum. Petroleum is actually a mixture of many things. This petroleum oil is found deep under the ground. That means to dig out to get this petroleum oil we have to dig deep under the ground and we have we need big machines to pump it out and clean it big machines will be installed and from deep under the ground they will pump out this petroleum for that big machines are required that means it will be very costly and also formation of petroleum is a very slow process and it is a natural process that means we cannot make petroleum in factories or industries it can only be formed naturally under the earth it takes lakhs or millions of years to be formed so if we use up all the petroleum or petrol and diesel it will take lakhs of years or millions of years for it to be formed again. Children, do you think can we survive for that much year without petrol and diesel? It, it is near to impossible. Here one line is written, they are used as fuel. What is fuel? Fuel is something which gives us energy. We human beings eat food to get energy so food is our fuel for our cars and vehicles petrol and diesel give them energy to run from one place to another so petrol and diesel are the fuel for our vehicles petroleum oil is a smelly thick dark colored liquid Petroleum oil is a smelly and it is very thick and it is a dark colored liquid. Here you can see it is a dark colored liquid and from petroleum we get kerosene, diesel, petrol, engine oil, LPG, wax, grease and also fuel for aircrafts etc. What is LPG? LPG stands for liquefied petroleum gas. LPG is the gas which we use in our home, in our house or in our home to prepare our food. That cylinder which is filled with LPG is used as fuel to cook our food. These are some of the petroleum products, kerosene, diesel, petrol, engine oil, fuel for air, aircrafts, LPG, also called as cooking gas, wax or candle, coal tar, coal tar which is used for surfacing of the roads, grease and also we can obtain plastics and paints. The materials obtained from the substances obtained from the petroleum are also used to make plastics and paints. Petroleum is found only at a few places in our country. You remember children, it is present deep under the ground just like water. But we can dig and get water in most of the places. But it is not the same thing in the case of petroleum. Because petroleum is found only at a few places in our country. In India, states of Assam, 
Gujarat, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh have oil fields from which we can get this petroleum oil. As petrol and diesel are limited, they can also be considered as or called as non-renewable resources. While there are some resources or sources of energy which can be used again and again, we can say they are available infinitely or unlimited. Such type of fuels are called renewable force. Uh, renewable resources. So, what is the difference between renewable and non-renewable resources? Let us see. Renewable resources cannot be exhausted. That means they are readily available for us. For example, solar energy. You see, every day we get solar energy and it is near impossible for it to get finished in our near future. While non-renewable resources like petrol and diesel, they can be exhausted. That means if we will use them continuously, ultimately they will get finished up. Renewable resources can be used again and again. We can use them again and again as they do not get exhausted. While non-renewable resources cannot be used again and again as it is limited which can be depleted one day. Renewable resources are pollution free. Renewable resources such as wind energy, hydro power or hydro energy, solar energy, they do not release any harmful substances in our environment. They do not cause pollution. While on the other hand, uh, petroleum, diesel, non-renewable -renew resources like petrol and diesel, when they burn, they release harmful smoke. So, they are not pollution free. They cause pollution. Renewable resources, the maintenance cost of these resources is very high. We have to maintain the availability of these resources we have to put for solar energy we have to put solar panels then machines or technology which will convert the solar energy into different form of energy so this needs a huge amount of money that means they are not very cost effective they are high cost while non-renewable resources, the maintenance, co maintenance cost of these resources is very low. We, if we put uh, using this is very low of cost in comparison to renewable resources. Renewable resources requires large land area for the installation of the power plant. While non-renewable resources requires less land area for the installation of the power point. Renewable resources are sustainable. That means they will be available for us for a very long time. While non-renewable resources are exhaustible. That means if we will use them again and again, ultimately they will get finished up. They will be completely finished from this earth. Renewable resources causes no harm to life existing on the planet earth. As we have discussed, renewable resources do not release any pollution in the environment. So, they do not cause any harm to any living organism. But non-renewable resources are not environment friendly. That means the smoke produced by these, the harmful chemicals produced by non-renewable resources can harm the living organisms present on this earth. Renewable resources are present in unlimited quantity and they are available for us to be used then again and again while non-renewable resources are present in limited quantity. That means they will get finished up if we will not use them properly. Renewable resources, the total cost of these resources is low. That means 
they are low cost for using these resources while the total cost of these resources is comparatively high. These are some examples of renewable resources like air or wind energy, water or hydro energy here and solar energy. Some non renewable resources are coal, natural gas or we also known, know this as CNG that is compressed natural gas and petroleum like petrol and diesel, kerosene etc. So, these are some of the topics we have discussed. In the next video, we are going to discuss the latter part of the chapter. For now, thank you.